Hello, Ambazonians. I have come with an important message for you. First, to congratulate you on your resolve, your determination, and your commitment to regain your freedom. The world is watching you in silent admiration. From the night watchman to the teacher, the clergy and the church, from the puff puff woman and mancon to the bamba bay and fiango, you have all stood up as one person against oppression to affirm your dignity, to assert your rights, and to restore your lost sovereignty as a nation. It's the first step to building a new, bright, and prosperous future for yourselves and for your children. There's no turning back. It will not serve you well to make short-sighted compromises now. You've bought a one-way ticket home to Boya. Yuande got the message and is panicked that you will never again accept second-class citizenship. Not after 60 years. Not ever. Enough is enough. A year lost out of school is the price we have paid. It's no small price, I know, but it's because you have a long tradition of superior quality standards. You expect an education system which responds to the challenges of the 21st century and the demands of the future. You only have to look at Ghana. They have one of the best education systems in Africa today. They don't regret losing several years of school to first regain their freedom. This struggle has three important life lessons for children of Ambazonia. Lesson number one, a bended stick cannot be straightened. Lesson number two, no condition is permanent. And lesson number three, it is no use running when you're on the wrong road. In a few days, the new chairman of SCACUF will make his policy speech and will address education. We are calling on you to be patient while a new curriculum is being designed for the youth of Ambazonia. The ghost towns have been hugely effective. Your disengagement from Yuande will cement the course towards full restoration of statehood for southern Cameroons. So, school can wait. The school curriculum has been watered down to become as worthless as the BAC. Why do you think the mayor of Boya has fake academic credentials? Why do you think francophone kids are rushing to enter your schools? Why do you think Amazonians spend more on education than the rest of the country? Why do you think the education ministry recognizes that the best teachers are in your school system? If all that is true, why have they insisted all these years on reforming your education system, but standards have continued to decline? Enough is enough. Your children deserve a world-class education. They deserve training which will prepare them for the jobs market or for self-employment. Shortly, they will get a new curriculum which accomplishes both these requirements and the sacrifices you are making now will be an investment in a brighter future for them. Amazonians, it's unacceptable that schools should resume when you one day insist on holding educators like Dr. Fontam Neba hostage, when the parents of school-aged children are languishing in jail. We must stand solidarity with them. This is one fight we started together and we'll finish together. It will be unconscionable that children resume school when no reckoning has been made with children being tortured, killed, jailed, and raped a few months ago. Your future is not in Yuande. You have another home in view and your march resolutely to Boya so that your flag will proudly fly again. Thanks for watching. Stay strong and long live the gallant people of Southern Cameroons.